I wanted to share with you a couple of specific examples that I've come across in the classroom, in particular for the linear functions module that we dealt with first. I first trialled this with a top set year seven group. Having completed the section on distance time graphs, which was set around the movements of a character called Wendella, who was a dog, I'd set some homework for these students to draw a graph and have a story to go with it. So their little own story graph, if you like. When I collected the homework, I looked at one girl's work and my initial reaction was one of horror because I felt that she hadn't understood at all because on the graph, their distance time graph showed going back in time, the graph zigzag backwards. However, when I read the story, this particular student was a sci-fi fan and her character had gone back in time <laughs> and the graph did accurately reflect her story. I then continued in year eight to have a class that was split. It was made half of the class I'd taught before in year seven who had used this module and half of students who had been in a different half year group. When we revisited the topic of linear functions, it was very evident indeed that the students who had used this module in year seven had retained far more information than the students who had learned linear functions in year seven using traditional methods. Their attention, as far as I was concerned, was absolutely amazing. To further that, the very last lesson I taught before I left today was the same group who are now in year nine, and they still remember Wendella, two <laughs> years on. So the retention and the engagement with these modules is significantly better than traditional methods, I feel. Thank you.